Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be Marauder rushing Protoss players <laughs> for an hour straight. I there's there's something absolutely beautiful about executing the same build again and again. And this particular one, I, I think I've said it before, is probably one of my favorite all-time builds for Terran versus Protoss. It's because it's so easy, but it's also so darn effective. And you can play it multiple times against the same player, and it can still just fall for it. That is that is why I like this build so much. It is good, it is funny. Um, well, not if you're on the receiving end, but for me it's funny, you know, executing it, it's it's actually very funny. Um, so we're gonna play, this is a build by the way made, or at least popularized by Cure, the Team Liquid player, and, uh, well, popularized, played by Cure and then popularized by Harston. So I play it a lot. <laughs> I freaking love this build. I, it wouldn't surprise me if the out of all the builds that I've played over the years on this account for the cheesiest man alive, this is the build that has gained me the most MMR, at least the best ratio of MMR gained versus lost. I, I, I hardly have any losses with this build. That's because there are no, there's only a single blind counter to it. Um, and that is playing one base Stargate. That is, a, that is the optimal blind counter to this build. If you play one base Stargate against it and you get a void ray out, you automatically win. Um, however, you still need two batteries on your high ground as well. So that's the only counter, hard counter that I'm familiar with. I think he proxied a gateway. I don't know how that actually plays out. Let's figure it out. See, I'm 90% I'm sure this guy just proxied a gateway. Like 90% sure. Oh, I forgot to start my, my Marauder here. That's actually really bad. Oh, not happy with that. He didn't scout, but had a probe on the map. Make that make sense, you know? Uh, you can't. You simply cannot make that make sense because it doesn't make any sense. So I don't get it. Uh, there has to be a proxy somewhere. Otherwise, I've been get, I'm, I'm being bamboozled here pretty good. It's possible he's bamboozling me pretty good. I've been I've been bamboozled before in the past. Okay. So it is a one base. That's one thing that is for sure. Two. This guy played two gate high ground. Now there's a little bit of history to this because the game before. I was just laddering on this account for banter because I, I like laddering, you know. What can I say? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, ooh, I'm someone that enjoys laddering, you know. That's not a crime, right? At least I hope it's not a crime. And I played this guy, and then when I beat him, I, I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I should probably just make a video of me doing this build for an hour straight. So him just full walling <laughs> on the high ground, <laughs> and then <laughs> losing his first two stalkers against it is freaking hilarious to me. Is actually freaking hilarious to me. Uh, let's see if we can actually get out of here. So we saw a robotics facility being constructed on the high ground. Um, we know he has a single stalker. Is there still a battery here somewhere? I don't think so, actually. Does he have money? He's getting a third gate. He's playing one base. He had to cancel the gate in order to afford it. Oh, he's. I don't think we're going to get a GG here. If we get a GG here, he'd be shocked. Let's just actually try and get out of here. I don't want to be stuck in this base. He should actually go for a surround right now. He did go for a surround. Correct move. I I messed that up. I simply just messed that up. 100%. So we have uh, five right now. Does he have a battery? I don't think he does. I'm going to move this back a little bit. Oh, he's trying to get a sentry up. That would be hilarious as well. I want to activate the shield here of this immortal. And I want also to activate the force field. On that thing. Yes, there we go. So, Immortal Shield has been activated. We now have how many? We have a bunch of Marauders. I'm not sure if we're going to be capable of winning. If he gets to uh, get another sentry out here, I think we're just straight up dead. He's desperately trying to get one of these guys out. Okay, this is, I think, a kill on this thing at least. I think we lose the game. I actually think we lose the game here. Because he's going to be capable of warping stuff in in a couple of seconds from now. Yeah, I think we're dead. I absolutely do believe we're dead. <coughs> no, no, come on. Come on, Kevin, what are we doing? What in the world are we doing here? So we need to get rid of uh, this pylon, ideally. I don't think we're going to get rid of this pylon in time, to be honest. 
We should have we should have just straight up gone for the pylon, ignored the stalker maybe, see if we can get it. If we can get the pylon, nah, that thing comes out. That thing comes out. Oh my god, what a close game. Absolute blind counter. Well, I hadn't thought of this as a blind counter, but I guess this also works. I can't believe someone would play two gate as a wall on top of the ramp into a robo. Like this, this is terrible against everything else, but he gets a win. This is a great way to start. Just by being completely, completely blind count from the previous game. That is frustrating, but also cool. It's also fun. If, if people with higher MMR start blind countering a cheese, you know you're up to something. And we're up to something good here. That's for sure. I think I might have sent my SEVs a little bit too late as well. I, I think I might need it earlier for just this type of setup. Although, I also truly believe that it should be impossible for me to win, given if, if I'm being blind countered. I, I just don't think it's fair of me to expect to be expected to win then. Like a, a two-gate high ground. I never even heard of this. That's such a crazy setup. Um, I just realized I sent this worker a bit too late. Let's just build the barracks here and hope he doesn't scout this way. <laughs> so there's two paths they can take on this map. Either the left side or the right side. We're hoping <laughs> really freaking hard right now that the, the gods of RNG are taking the right side. Because if he goes here, I think I'm just pretty much dead. Because uh, I forgot to send my worker. I'm just I'm just thinking about like how do I... If they are on one base, like is it realistic of me to try and expand out of it? I think the answer to that is no. But then again, I also think my opponent playing the way that my opponent did is... this. I shouldn't... I should probably just give up and be like, okay, that's fine. If they want a blind counter, that's completely okay. And th that's not going to be the standard response. Unless I play the same guy like four times or three times, or I guess twice already, apparently in the case of the macro machine. Um, I, I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like I have, a, I have a good chance against almost everything. Let's see if there's a CC first. I think that's for me the most important thing. If I know there's a command center, I'm actually in a pretty good spot. Our command center, a uh, nexus. Okay, so there's a nexus. No low ground pylon. Oh, no, there is. It's late. It's a late low ground pylon. By about five seconds. So this game should be over right now. It, I, I don't think there's any way you can finish your first battery as a result. And I think I can finish my bunker as a result. So I think this is almost just game over. You delay. Oh, he went for a zealot. So this is a good initial response if you see no barracks. But I don't think it's actually that great of a response to this particular build, is it? Oh, no, no, I really want to keep that alive. Maybe it is. Maybe this is a fine response. The problem with it is you delay your second gas. So I think I can just play very careful and probably be somewhat okay. Die. Okay, this is a win. It's over. So this, this worker is never going to touch me. That much is obvious, right? Um, and then I want to force out a super battery here. And then we can go up. Actually, we can just kill the game. I think I can even shoot through the super battery, right? With five? Yeah. Five, you can shoot through a super battery. <laughs> Dude, there's no way this gonna GG. <laughs> oh, there we go. Big win for me. And we'll straight away search our next game. Three minutes, 23 seconds. It's the perfect... Oh, it's going to 6 2 <laughs> I thought this guy was going to be way lower. Who were you? Who were you, little buddy? I thought this was like... A, I was like, I, I actually was afraid of showing the MMR. Because sometimes I don't like cheesing guys that are like 4.6k MMR. This guy's probably a pro gamer. <laughs> Amazing. Alrighty, friends. Here we go again. Playing against... Sage LLM. I'm not sure who this fella is. But I do know that he's going to be in some serious trouble when I'm done with him. Because my work's already on the map. And he's ready to freaking die. That's all I'm saying. That's all that I'm saying. Uh, okay, let's see if I'm in time. I'm almost in time. This is perfect. 15 supply barracks, 15 supply guests. This is a very rare location to check. I, don't, I think this might actually be the less, the best, the best location to proxy because I think you should never really check it with a probe unless you go da up here and then decide to take this path, I guess that's possible. It's okay, maybe it's not that rare. Maybe sometimes people do see it, but I don't think Sage LLM is going to figure all of this out, to be honest. I, I, don't, I don't quite buy that, no. Absolutely not. So, what am I going to be doing here? I'm going to be throwing down a tech lab. 
Gonna be building a depot with this bad boy. Then we'll take it from here. Quick little orbital as well. I haven't been scouted yet. I really should build my depot at the at the ramp. I think it's just much better to have a depot at the ramp. It just feels nicer, in my opinion. Okay, here we go. And we'll throw down our depot instantly as well. I still want to go for a scout, maybe. Or maybe I don't. He scouted me now, so... I still like to get the info, though. He probably already threw down his Nexus, if I'm not mistaken. Usually Nexus timing is, what, 132, 133? So he should have his Nexus down already, unless he's deciding to cancel it right now. Uh, I think I'm going to be in a pretty good spot. Maybe open up with a Zealot, though, or like some weird two-base stuff. It's technically possible. Okay, he doesn't have a Nexus. That sucks for me. Is he full walling? No way. Second gate. Hmm. I wonder what's the best thing to do against this particular opener. He's getting a third pylon as well. Third pylons do scare me. So he's probably going to send his uh, unit to chase my SCV, is what I figured. He wants to kill my SCV, right? That's at least that's what I figured he wants. Yes, so that might allow me an opportunity to walk up the ramp here. Just have a peek upstairs. See what's going on where the big boys are. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. That's also good. That's very good. So we're gonna get our first kill here. And... I think he's just dead, actually. Maybe I can hit this once more, once more! There we go. Thank you so much, good sir. He's not gonna be here, as you know. Um, we're just gonna send all of these over. Well, not all of them, but quite a few. Okay, we're gonna lose one Marauder here, most likely. Um, and now the question is, do I wait for my SCVs to show up? Because there's a possibility he's getting a Sentry. If he's getting a Sentry, I want to force that force field out before we truly get there. Okay, so I'm just gonna kill this. Okay, I don't think he's getting a Sentry. It's not what it feels like. He did kill a Marauder. Okay, and then literally all we do right now is we just go up the ramp. He's not quite going to have that sentry yet. He's not quite going to have it. His, his warp in is going to be in a couple of seconds. Unless he chrono boosts the warp gate. So, yeah. Now it's going to finish. This is the standard timing, really. And I think we just win the game then. Oh, he's also getting one of these. That's actually potentially frustrating. Ooh. That's kind of scary, isn't it? Um, let's just kill some more workers and then get one of these. Wonder if I can actually do this, huh? Ugh. Okay, he's trying to go up here. Not another gas. This seems to be uh, uh, so scary for me, honestly. I don't think I can fight this. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have tried this. I shouldn't have tried this. All I really need to do is try and stay alive. I, there's absolutely zero reason for me to try and fight him in, in these types of scenarios. He's gonna either get. A second immortal now or oh, um, or what he's gonna get is a prism if he's getting a prism he'll probably go across the map if he's not getting a prism then he's obviously not going across the map I'm just gonna be building a bunch of Marines so I can afford other crap here as well I want to get a starport as my first thing and then either a mine or a cyclone I think I'm just gonna go for a cyclone to be honest um, as my as my as my next setup, so I should be severely outmining my opponent, like seriously outmining. I'm even gonna scout with this thing. He didn't seem to have any stalkers remaining. I doubt he's gonna build them because they're really expensive, and I don't think he has that much, that much, that, that many resources really. So we're now stuck in a si well, he's stuck in a situation where he has worse eco, I think, and he probably is gonna get worse tech pretty soon as well i think i'll i could i'll start with a medevac so i can heal some of my marauders up that might actually be better start with a medevac i'll do that i'll just do that um i first want to see if there's a nexus here or not I and mean, if he's building a nexus then it's important for me to know that he's gonna finish that no way okay there's no nexus here at least wonder if i can actually kill this no he's just moving back home right now Okay, has a sentry, yeah. So he's just he's just kind of bunkering down on his one base. I don't know what he's getting, what else he's getting. I think his eco is just too low, to be honest. Like, I think his eco is just way, way too low. So this should be no issue for us at all. I'm, I can get either Banshee or Raven. I think both will be fine. He has 16, 15, 14 workers on here. Yeah, so I'm outmining him, like, by a very serious amount. We'll just get a CC. And the moment this thing finishes up, we're going to go for it. 
Um, we'll get a raven as well, because I... Maybe a tank? Yeah, we'll go for tanks after. We'll just do it like this. Get another barracks as well over here. I wonder if I can send this barracks back home. He didn't actually kill that much. What if I just build a reactor here? That's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a reactor there, then get combat shield on this. I think that's gonna be the real play for me. I think that's actually the real play for me. Get a little reactor on this bad boy. And then combat shield eventually on these. We have another barracks coming in here. That one's not gonna get any type of setup. Nothing, nothing else at least. Okay, you're gonna get your combat shield here. Okay, that's good. For a start at least. Oh, now he's in trouble. He's gonna need to recall, I think. He's absolutely gonna need to recall. I really want this thing, actually. Is he, uh... Oh, that's frustrating. Is he a natural? I mean, if I lose this base, that would actually kind of suck, not gonna lie. Oh, this is better, though. Oh, he doesn't even have a base here. Oh, wait, he's all hitting me. Oh! Oh, did you do that? I thought for sure he was having having a base. He was just killing my base so he could contain me. But I guess his worker gun was just way too low to do that. He only had 16, especially if they're losing a couple more. This is a sick build. Eh, got a cheeky little win. Very nice. I'm happy with how this went. Five stars for me. Up next we have for Jumi. As he is a, uh, what is it, 6.1k player right now. 6.26k, something along those lines. Pretty decent player. Let's see if we can take him out. I think we will be fine taking him out. Need to be careful that we don't accidentally get spotted. I feel like that is something that hasn't happened yet, but it's definitely possible. Protoss players these days a little bit more greedy than uh, back when I was a young man. Protoss players would always scout first, but nowadays we get a lot of these um, it's kind of late scouts, much later scouts than is uh, than, than, than used to be common. So I'm not that worried about getting uh, found in the middle of the map by any type of probe. Of course, you could look here. It's not a crazy location to, to take a take a gander rat, you know. I've done it before in the past, sent a probe there, found some barracks there, killed it. It's definitely not a out of the ordinary, so to say. And just move into this uh, general spot. See if we can get a little bit of gas going. It's the most important thing of this build, of course, as the uh, limiting factor uh, for both the concussive and the marauders is going to be that gas initially. So it's very important that we get that gas as fast as we... Ooh, what's this? I wonder if he knows what this means. He should know what this means, right? Right, Mr. Jumi? He should be very familiar with what this means. So I'm just going to throw down my depot over here. I'm afraid that he built a, a pylon in my main. Actually, why would I be afraid of that? It's going to be like a cannon rush? No, no shot. I'm not sure why I went there. I should have just continued mining money. Money, 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 money. Ooh. Um, I'm going to start my first Marauder as well. And now my concussive shells uh, will start ASAP to... Yep, there we go. Just going to go in for a little scout. What is this? Hmm. Don't think I care enough about that yet. This is something that I do have to keep in mind, though. Like, if he continues attacking it, I definitely need to, you know... Like, eventually I'm going to need to deal with it. It's not like I can just ignore it forever. Well, I could, but then I'll, I'll lose that. So, actually, let's just move over and deal with it. Let's just move over and deal with it here, Harston, will we not? Uh oh I wish I had waited a little bit longer, I guess. Oh, I don't want to lose these either. I really wonder what his general plan is, though. When is my uh, my thing coming online is what I want to know. Oh, there we go. We have it now. I think I can shoot this. If he's actually playing, um, what you call it, like a Stargate right now, that, that could be quite frustrating for me, of course. But I don't think he is. And if he is, then there's not going to be a, a unit out for at least another like 10 seconds or so. So we should actually be fine. Oh, just going to kill this thing. It's going to right click it, right? And then go, go over here. I want to get a second gas. I don't want to lose all my units, though. That's actually a bit sucky. That was poorly done by me. Ah, oh, we got him. Anyway, this build is so good. This build is le is so legit. How many points gonna be, are we going to take with this? Like 20? 25? 36, of course. He's way higher MMR than I am. 5, 6, 34. He minus 37 for him. Plus 36 for me. Blizzard takes one point for the tax. That's just the way it is sometimes in life.
All right, got uh, my good friend for Jumi one more time. One more time. <laughs> I love the good luck, thanks. It's, it's, that's very good. Ah, that's good. I guess that one three stars. Very nice, Jumi. That's a good little meme. Good little meme. I think this worker is way too fast going across the map, but whatever. I don't care enough about it. Um, I'm almost tempted to build my barracks a little bit further right now. Or maybe we should just build it here anyway and, and not care about potential consequences. That also doesn't sound too bad, does it? Okay, so here we go. That is this bad boy. Uh, every second matters, so... This is like maybe half a second quicker of a thing uh, because I use an SCV that was already close by rather than waiting for the depot SCV to come back. So I think that was a, a good move. I think he's going to be playing different if he scouts me this time, though. You know, it's, it's unlikely that he's going to say, you know what, this went great last time with the Adapted Ed Marauder. Um, I, I feel like very often, though, the gut feeling of what is the correct response is wrong. Like, it, it is so common for people to misunderstand. But right now he has full information. He just played against the build. If he can't beat it now, that's just going to be a skill issue, right? Like, he, I, I gave him the time to look at it. I don't think he, he watched the replay very in-depth. Because we well, we found the game basically instantly again, so um, yeah. I mean, in a way, I'm a little bit disappointed by that. You know, it's like, is this? What is this? I think this is just bad. I think. I'm gonna build this one over here. It's, I can just, I can still just build a a thing down here, can't I? Am I stuck in here? No, I'm not. Oh, this is really annoying. This actually was much more annoying than I thought. That was honestly not bad. Because it delayed it by quite a bit, right? My, like Maybe by like 10 seconds or so, which is a huge deal. I've never seen someone actually do this. That's such a cute way of playing against it. I, I actually have never seen someone do that. That's a very cool way of playing against it. What's this? Oh, he's actually sending his, his uh, zealot across the map, which is interesting. It's interesting because... Well, why is it interesting? Oh, he can just stay on one base then, without really any serious issues. And I'm gonna be supplier. He's too zealous. Is he proxying in the middle of the map or something? So he he must have uh, something there in the middle of the map. No, like it's the only thing that makes any sense for me. Okay, that's gonna die. This gonna die too. What if I can just clear this bad boy? Oh. There's a stalker here now as well. I wonder if I can just go across the map and try and win the game. I don't think I can, but I can try. If the moment he gets a, a sentry out, I think the game is pretty much over, right? It would really suck. Yeah, this was not it. This was absolutely not it for me. No, I think I'm just dead. Yeah. I mean, he, he did a good job. He, this was a nice move. It was really... I guess it's kind of a blind counter. Because he has such a fast unit in my main base. And I have nothing there. And he can just defend with batteries. And he's playing one base, which is fine. He still lost a lot of workers, by the way. Maybe if I had done this a bit better, not losing my marauders here. I wait for these SCVs to show up. Maybe I can do something, but it's just going to be rough. Perhaps I should have just sent my units back to deal with this. But I also need to deal damage, so I think it's a lose-lose for me. This is, I think it's a build order loss. This is one of the few build order losses that this particular build has, and I'm okay with that. Alrighty, friends. Next map here is going to be Elciona versus a 5.3k Protoss player. I'm a little bit late with my... Uh my first depot that's okay i feel like every single time i play this build something goes slightly wrong too late with the depot too late with the gas too late with the first barracks too late with the workers i feel like i should just write down actual timings when everything needs to be built but that sounds like work and we're here to get some easy w's not to to work hard so the same all right refinery is done these two are so far not getting scouted. The, the standard scout timing, I think, for Protoss would be right around now. So if you were to find me now, then that would suck, as I think I'd be pretty freaking dead, but that ain't happening. I'm really surprised how little Protoss players scout around at this level in general, or just 
any protos really like at high level i kind of understand it because you know it's like well there's lots of players that uh, it, it just isn't so common this type of stuff isn't so common with proxies um because i think higher level tosses really understand how to respond to this like the, the top five tosses so i don't know it's weird it is what it is though Ooh, we did scout me um I don't actually want to fight, do I? Because he can just regain his uh, his shields. I guess I can repair my SCVs, and it's technically the same thing. But yeah, actually, that would be pretty much the same thing. Ooh, we build one of these. It's not so good for you here, buddy. It's not so good. You're going to need two batteries, my friend. A single battery is simply not going to cut it. Um, I I'm very surprised by how lax Protoss players tend to respond to this. Um, so here we go. Okay. Gonna continue attacking this thing. My second one is on the way. I love the way he's doing this. I actually think this is completely the correct response. I freaking love the way that he's playing this, honestly. Yes, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. But as always, I have a uh I have an answer to this. I have an answer to this. I, I mean this is not my first rodeo. This is my 17th rodeo. Um we're just gonna be moving in here. And I just wanna kinda clear stuff that he has. See if I can bait him out a little bit. I don't think I can bait him out. It would be a surprise to me if I can bait him out. And let's just send these across the map. No. Let's just go for it. We're going to wait for seven Marauders. Then we're going to go in. With seven Marauders, you can neatly burst through the uh, super battery as well. And if he only has Stalkers, my SEVs can deal with any potential probes that he pulls. And my Marauders deal with his, well, his units that matter. Uh, my SEVs are a little bit late. So, I do regret that, in some sense. So here we go. Poof. See? Can just go through it. And poof. There we go. Now we're just gonna walk past, because I absolutely do not care about what he's doing. So, this feels correct, what he did, you know? Ooh, he's getting one of these, huh? He's gonna hold position here for a second. Love the way that we're both playing this, honestly. Love the way that we're both playing this. As you can see, his um, his thing is probably about to pop out as well, right? His, uh, his uh, Immortal. Yeah, there we go. So what I want to do here is I want to attack it with at least one of these workers. Then I piss off with my Marauder so I don't take damage. I took a lot of damage there for no real reason. Losing one more of these. And uh, let's see if I can just kill this thing. I think I can probably. Yep, there we go, Yumiko Yabami. It's uh, taken out of this game. And I get another big fat W here on the board. 5329, 13 points for me. 5329 feels so high because it's like maybe rank 150, 140 GM. But ever since I started Marauder all inning, my, my MMR went up so high that now I look at like a 5-3 player and I'm thinking to myself, ah, oh, only 5-3? You know, I've, I've, I've grown too big for my boots almost. Almost. Not quite. All right, we got one of our new maps out here. This is called Crimson Court. It's the patch hit uh, overnight. So, you know, this was inevitable that we were going to hit one of these maps at, at some point. Mm, let's see what we'll do. All right, we'll get a depot over here. I think this is one of the worst maps to play this on, uh, this particular build, because it's... It's really easy to scout for any proxies. I'd be shocked if people don't scout for proxies here. My opponent is a barcode protos of whom I couldn't see as MMR. So that, that could mean a lot of different things. Very often it just means that my opponent is like leaving the league. So basically what you can do is whenever you hit the Grandmaster League, you can press the button leave league. And this way it becomes difficult for your opponents to see who you are. You also don't show up, on, show up on any of the barcode tracking websites. So people that are very serious about keeping their barcode hidden can do something like that. Because you just don't show up on the barcode tracking websites. So we have a couple of those websites. Nowadays I heard there even is a tool that um, basically allows you to see in-game um, whether you're, like who your opponent is when you find their barcode. Which I think is pretty freaking cool. Uh, we've almost completely figured out the barcode issue. And I think at this point, it might just be better to, you know, stop playing barcodes, everyone. You know, as a as a pro scene, we might just say, hey, barcodes are a thing of the past now. We don't want that anymore. It's over. All right, this looks like a good opener. 130 hasn't scouted me yet. That means his Nexus just went down. And that means that I'm going to be in a very good spot. If they don't scout, I think I just always default win, which is also nice because very often people no scout. I actually think if I were to play against a pro player with this build and they wouldn't know that it was me who was playing, 
I think I could have a pretty high win rate. Oh, this guy's a prick. Is he actually one basing me here? Or what? Oh, he's AFK. <laughs> oh, wait, but maybe he's pretending. Yeah, he's, see, this is always still scary. I, 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 I changed how people view this situation. I changed. Before, people were like, oh, this is this guy is just AFK. Now, let's actually count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so it's just 12 workers. I'm just going to right click this thing. I'm just going to continue macroing just in case. Just in case. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't, don't want to have anything bad happen here. Yeah, do it like this. Yeah. We already start looking. I mean, it's not a great map to hide stuff on, I guess. Let's check if he mined any minerals here. Nope, these mineral patches are all around. He's not over here. So then the only option is really that he's down here, or he has one of these bases. And if not, we know for certain that uh, the person, we're safe. Okay, ah, we seem to just be safe. Because I don't think there's any other way to go upstairs or downstairs. Technically, he could have gone here, but it would have been crazy difficult. Also, definitely not worth it. Nice! Took me 3 minutes and 11 seconds. Funnily enough, I'm pretty sure I won games quicker than against a guy that was just purely AFK by himself. We're going to get 22 points. Appreciate that there, buddy. As we're... Uh, our MMR is actually getting higher and higher. I wonder where, you know, where we're going to get stopped. 5-7? Five, 5-8? Five, I don't actually know. Alrighty, up next we have Moonbeam, which MMR also doesn't show. That might actually just be because... Is it a new season? I and mean, we had the patch overnight. We had the new map. So what is this map? Not familiar with this one at all. Oh, this is... Um, no, I am. This is this map is called Amphion. Amphion. And it is very, very weird. I have no good words about this map. Let's see what actually happens with the scout when you send it to the other side of the map. Does it take the inner route? No. It doesn't. Which then means... That we can take the inner route. So we're going to be building stuff over here. Ooh, I like the way that this looks, my dear friends. I love the way that this looks. I freaking love the way that this looks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that we have enough cash. We're going to put them up here, which you won't, hopefully, hopefully won't scout. Okay, you go here. Keep mining, my brothers. Keep mining. Oh, back to mining. This guy's going to show up in time as well. And unless he manually clicks here, it's just going to go around in this general path downstairs. And I hope he takes that base. His natural is really far away, by the way, from his main base. Not sure if this is good or bad for my build. I mean, the fact that there's a ramp definitely does suck. I think ramped maps are probably the worst for this particular build order. Maybe I should have actually done something about that. Maybe I should veto the ramped maps. Because what, there's side delta, and I guess there's this map as well, Amphion. Um, yeah, I, I think I should do something about it. Okay, it's a relatively uh, well-timed scout. Feels like a, maybe like a 16 scout or so. Like an early 17 scout. After gas, something along those lines. Oh, I forgot to start my thing. It's not great. So he can, he can respond by getting a second gas here, but that usually isn't the, the first thing that players do. Is when they see this, like... Let me just get a second gas and stay on one base, which I think is the easiest response to do. And that's where he went for. Okay. Eh, good for you, Paul's Moonbeam. Okay. Sell it as well. I dig that. It's out really fast, by the way. Two minutes. I think he might have been planning on playing like this already. Um, so it's going to be, yeah, one, one thing up here. So we're going to go when we have three, I guess. Seems to me like a, a pretty decent plan, at least. Ah! That sucked. So when we have three, and then... Actually, something I want to do is just kind of bait him downstairs. I hope he doesn't scout when I'm pulling my workers. Because that would suck, wouldn't it? Should we go with five or what? I'm gonna send these out. Oh, if I was faster, I could have gotten a couple of free shots off. He's gonna have a second stalker up there. So every second that goes by, 
this sounds stupid is actually kind of a good second for me, at, well, at least in this moment right now. Uh, the reason for that is because I'm out producing him. He only has a single gateway. However, I need to hit before he has a sentry and I need to hit before he has a tech unit out. These are absolutely, these are really important things, right? Actually, it's just gonna fit. I think this is the perfect time for me to pull workers. Okay, and then it's going to depend on, on what he has behind this, right? Like he can have a lot of things behind this. Okay, here we go. I'm just really right-clicking this thing, and we're moving back. Oh, there's a sentry. But that's the only sentry he's gonna get, no? So we have one more chance here, and that's gonna be right about now. Try one more! Oh my god! Okay. Sentries don't deal more damage to Marauders, of course, but he might just be dealing enough damage in general. He's not building a new uh, a new Immortal, which means he doesn't have the money for it. And that probably means... <coughs> oh, he has two Stalkers. Um, they are just going to win this game, no? Four, three, two... And now I think it's time to realize... So he went for the hard counter, and I still managed to win. It's because he didn't get a second battery. Second battery is vital, even if you're one basing. Two batteries, just go into Stargate, that's the best thing. Or if you can get multiple sentries out. This got really close, um, but not close enough. And then we just yeah, get the big fat W, 14 extra points in the pocket. I wonder um, actually how he did. I kind of want to quickly watch the replay, because was he already planning on one basing, or, or, or was this a response with the scout? I actually should have just checked that straight away. And my apologies for that, but I'm, I'm just really curious, because... I want to know what triggers these people. The funny thing is, is that lower level players more often go for the one base response. Which I, I think is pretty funny. So let's see. Here he goes in. I think the depot not being at the ramp gets people to get a second assimilator more often. Because like, well, that's really all in. So I think this is a huge blunder. Yeah, and then he goes for this. Okay. Yeah, fair play. Absolutely fair play. I think it's a good response, just... Uh, no second battery is, is, is not a good move. Two, three batteries, I mean, you're playing one base. Once you get an Immortal out, you pretty much win the game. So let's hop on to our next one. All right, this map is called Ghost River. It is the shortest rush distance map. The shortest, the map with the shortest rush distance in the entire map pool. And in really any map pool, I think ever maybe? I'm not sure, I actually checked it. Uh, I compared it to, I think, Dasan Station. I can't remember if it had a shorter rush distance. I remember checking it, but the rush distance here is 29 seconds. That's why I could send out my worker so darn late and it's still just going to arrive on time. It's really, really crazy. Like, this is this is a freaking Terran paradise, this map. Oh, I forgot to send my worker across the map. Oh, no. Well, luckily this is a map with, as mentioned before, with a tiny rush distance. How do I always make mistakes? This is me messing up my build and still winning the game. That's literally the entire thing here. I don't think he goes here with the probe, right? You probably take the top path. I mean, if he takes the bottom path, I just straight up lose the game. I think he'd take the top path automatically as a worker, no? If I was a worker, I'd be taking the top path 100%. What the heck? All right, here we go. We're <laughs> back in business with a well-placed barracks over here. I like this one. This is pretty close. There's no ramp on this map, which helps me. Ghost River. Great name for a map, by the way. It's, it's actually one of my favorite names um, that I've ever heard. Oh my god. My neighbor just decided to start drilling. You know, and usually I'd cut that out of the video. Not sure if you guys can actually hear it, but I bet you can. Let's hope he doesn't drill for too long. Hey, they, they legit been doing construction for the past 12 years, it feels like. Like whenever something finished, like, alright, let's start our next project. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> it's time to live in the house, man. Yeah, it seems to only just been a a quick single drill. Love those. Uh, my opponent didn't scout, and thus is most likely gonna straight up die. I wonder what the best thing is to do here, is to just sit back, relax, and, and nothing, maybe? Like, I definitely need to wait for my, my my concussive shell. You know something you can do? Is, is send your... So he's most likely gonna shade out with an adept in this scenario, right? So something that I could do is try and catch that first shade. But I'm also just too lazy for that, am I not? Just too lazy. I have the concussive. No, I don't. Now I have the concussive. 
Now I have the concussive. Hello? Why is my concussive so darn slow? Holy crap. Let's first clear this thing. Um, so the fact that we see a stalker is really nice. It means that there's no real timer on us. Why is that the case? Um, there's no real timer on us. What? Who builds a sentry? What's wrong with you? I was going to say because there's not going to be a sentry or a void ray. He built a blind sentry. So let's hope there's no next sentry coming out. I really should start counting these things now. Oh, here comes my neighbor again with the drill. I hate to see it. As a non-drill enjoyer. So he's moving back pretty far, huh? Let me just kill some of these. I think I'm outproducing him when it comes to the workers. So that means that that was a great force field for me. As in, that didn't really do anything for him. If anything, it might have actually helped my unit. Now we're just gonna pull up. Pull up! And we pulled a couple. Oh, he's actually getting one of these things. He, wait, he, what the hell is he playing, though? This makes legit no sense to me. This build is insane. Okay. So now... If I was him, i just warp in a, a freaking single sentry and win the game, no? And then it's over. Because he has two gateways. I can't believe he managed to win this. That's actually kind of messed up. Yeah, so here comes the sentry. Oh, he's so patient. Ow! Oh! And there's gonna be one more. I can feel it already. I should have I should have walked faster. Because now I gave him time. This battery's gonna finish up. Ah, he played this so well. What the heck? Well, to be fair, his build made no sense. He opened up with a Stalker Sentry. I mean, this wasn't good. I, I really want to see this. Because he had a blind Sentry here. Like, look at this. I guess he did the Robo before he knew as well, right? He, yeah, he had no clue. So he went blind Robo. His opener was Sentry first. You know, if I just would have walked straight up this ramp, I think it would have been better for me, wouldn't it have been? That's so crazy. Because then he, he never got a second sentry. I thought this was a second sentry. But it was the same sentry from before still. It just had so much energy. I didn't quite realize that because I thought it was stalker into sentry, which was a wrong take. Um, here I should have been more aggressive towards him. And then here I should have killed this. Which... I don't think I did. I should definitely kill that stalker. Oh god, what a frustrating loss this is. Thought I had him right by the cojones, but he uh, used the Uno reverse card. Yeah, well done by him. I wonder what this guy's MMR was. Oh, he was 6k. 6k, yeah. Uh, I feel like I can fight these guys, though. And he got a good build order. No scout, but a good build order. So then the no scout doesn't matter so much. Alright, let's go again. Got a Terran player. And uh, before, whenever I got a Terran player, I told myself, I want this to be a pure Protoss episode. But now, I don't want that to be the case anymore. So we're actually going to go across the map with our worker. We're going to do it once against Terran, okay? Just to show you guys that it's possible against any race. Or to show that it's not possible against any race. It's also important, of course. It's uh, denying... That it's, ooh, I'm, actually, can Terran maybe... I wonder if I can still get there in time, though. I actually do wonder if I can get there in time. I think I might. No one ever checks their natural uh, in the TVT matchup. I don't think that's a thing, is it? This map is also tiny, by the way. What the heck? Look at this rush distance. Oh my god, this is what life is supposed to be like. Oi, 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 oi. When the histori- When the historians of the future look back at StarCraft 2, this is the type of game that they'll be looking at. Yeah, this wasn't entirely tight, but that's because I only realized later what I was going to do. I met his SCV, by the way. Um, so I'm just going to scout around to make sure that I'm not being proxy reapered. Because that's the only reason that makes any real sense to me, really. Um, where are you, Chief? Yep, there we go. That's a good start for me, isn't it? Is he gonna send another worker, you think? Okay, this is a... Oh, actually, no, this is bad! Oh, no, it's good. 
For a second I thought it was bad because he was going to scout me. You think he's going to figure this out though? Maybe I can lift it. Look at this. Look at this move. <laughs> oh my god. This is the most ghetto uh, execution I've done in my entire life. Holy crap. Dude, this is uh, scrappy. I don't think he saw my SCV. He probably was tapped down looking at like a... Oh, which Spotify playlist do I want to play for this game? <laughs> <laughs> Typical Terran thing. Because they never have to pay attention in the first few minutes. Okay. Um, so he wanted to play two Rex but That probably means he has less gas. I'm going to wait for my... My three boys, my three uh, three marauders, and then we're gonna go. Oh my god, I love my life! Oh, here comes the reaper. Oh, he's going back home. Also fantastic. Yeah, sure, buddy, go back home. We're just gonna deal with you real good, huh? You think he's gonna chase me all the way? What the heck is this? No way. Nah, no, come on! No GG. Yeah, that was a good one. I kinda wanna see the replay of this. Because there's like... I really wonder what the... What it was like. Okay, look at this. You think he would have seen it or no? So it was over here. Oh, he barely would have missed it anyway. I'm still glad I did it, though. It was necessary. And then that first moment, I want to just have a quick look at it. It was at 51 seconds, I think it was. <laughs> Let's go in his vision. Let's check his APM. They're building a gas. Checking my barracks. Not paying attention to the minimap. <laughs> Because <laughs> StarCraft 2 is the greatest game in the world. <laughs> I love the audacity of me sending my SCV down there. So, like, he's watching the replay. Like, oh my god. <laughs> All right, here we go again. We're on Amphion, this map was called, against a Protoss player. This is the map with the ramp for the people that don't quite remember. Map with the ramp. Um. Remember, we're gonna build it up here. <clears throat> God, I freaking love this so much. I think I could actually do this for days. I thought of doing this before, doing like a 24 hour cheese marathon, where I just go on like the different servers and I just cheese for an entire day, like a live stream type of thing. I think that would be quite fun. Maybe around Christmas and then we do a charity, or I don't do a charity and just keep all the money myself. I also like the thought of that. Yeah, I feel like. There's some serious potential there. Okay, just gonna... Put the barracks over here. <clears throat> oh, come on. What is this scout timing, mate? In a way, that might be good. Because this scout timing is so early that he might be confused. He's like, oh. Maybe this is a standard SUV count. And he doesn't realize there's two SUVs missing. Uh, he's, he's gonna look around, though. That's the problem. The problem here is that he's gonna start looking around. Okay, yeah. I have space. I still think one of the best responses that I've seen is the one out of 4 Jumi where he pulled one of his workers to block this tech lab. I freaking love the way that went. Like, that was so smart. And the fact that I hadn't seen that before makes me believe that he invented that, like, like in the in the search time. Because I beat him once, and then he probably thought about, okay, what would I do next time? Freaking love that. I really do. Um, but then again, you do need to scout it in time. And if you don't scout it in time, then you're probably gonna be in some serious trouble. Okay. Let's take a look what this uh, Protoss player is actually up to. Yeah, that's what I figured. I think this is just the most common response. It's just people one-basing. Yeah, it, it makes some sense. Okay, has a zealot. I think a zealot, if you're one-basing, is actually bad, though. Because it delays things for you. Which is the one thing you actually don't want. You don't want it to delay things. You want fast gas. No, I don't want to show this quite yet. Uh, he might actually be, he, he might not understand what his actual position is, by the way, and he'll still get yeah. He'll still get a nexus, or he'll try to still get a nexus. So maybe we should just wait it out a little bit. No way. He has no clue what's kicking off. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Oh no! That's GG. This is absolutely over. 
This is absolutely over. Because <clears throat> he's not going to have anything. I'm going to have loads of crap here. Hoppa, uh, there we go, buddy. And now we just need to kite again. We could also take out this pylon. I wonder if that's the third. Is that the third or the f the, the, the third pylon? The, 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 the third or the second pylon? I'm not actually sure. I think it might be proxying a starport somewhere on the map, by the way. No, I want to kill that. Okay, this feels good. Okay, so I'm not going to pull my uh, workers here because I, I feel like I might need it. I'm going to proxy... I think it has a void ray, right? Yeah, exactly what I thought. So we're going to proxy a factory here. This is actually a really cool response as well. I really do appreciate that. Die. Okay. <clears throat> Our work account is better. We now need to start building serious marines. Like serious, serious marines. I'll start combat shield as well. The thing is, is that if he leaves... Okay, so he's finding me here. I wonder if he has enough for a second Void Ray. That's actually extremely important here. And then we're going to split up these Marines. That way I can always get one out. And maybe even get both out. And then we just want to get a Cyclone out as well. And the thing is, is that he can't leave here. Like that is, that is really just the thing. That's the entire thing. Because the moment he leaves there, he's in trouble. I have more money. Okay, here comes an Oracle. That's actually pretty smart, not gonna lie. Um, we can outrun that a little bit, though. Because his uh, energy is about to kick off. You guys also will need to go back home. Yeah, whatever, buddy. I feel like that depot was absolutely not necessary as well. And we're just gonna continue with these. So, it is still possible that he tries to make a game out of it. Or that he might even make a game out of it. Because he has a couple of workers left over, right? At the same time, maybe I can just clear this while also holding holding at home the only problem is with holding at home in the way that I'm currently doing I feel like I'm splitting myself thin I'm spreading myself way too thin here Like, because what if an oracle would have showed up here? You know what I mean? That could have potentially been very bad. So he's going to try and kill that, which makes a lot of sense to me. Um, oh, here he comes. Die! Nice. Okay, yeah, we got him now. Oh, he has it over here! What the heck? Oh, that does change things, though, doesn't it? They're just gonna send us back home. Hello, how about you go here, bud? Yes, okay. So we're just gonna get our medevac as well. GG. <sighs> what was his worker count here in the end? 15, yeah. I, ki I just killed too many workers. I like this response, though. Proxy Stargate. Let me check the build order real fast in this in this part. No, it was just 14 pile and 16 gates. So I don't think he had it planned. That was definitely a response to what I was doing, which makes me feel much better, really. Oh, I didn't check his what my MMR was that I got. I think I didn't get so much. I got a little bit at least, so that's fine. <clears throat> All right, we got Moonbeam over here. Same dude that we played earlier. I feel like I'm sending this in too fast. Oh. You think I can get here in time? I'm not actually sure if I can. This map is kind of longish, isn't it? Let's try. He who doesn't try shall not succeed. That's what Gandalf said in the second movie. It's my favorite uh, Lord of the Rings movie. Oh, gonna need one more worker as well. I think I can't quite get there in time with my second worker, maybe. I'm not sure if there's enough space as well for me to... Yeah. Maybe this is just fine. Maybe this is just fine. I'm gonna need quick gas. Forgot to send that back. Um, I think this worker's definitely gonna be a bit slow. Oh. What's going on? Ben? Bad news? Yeah, 
I think he just sees that when he moves down the ramp. <laughs> this is such a disgustingly bad position. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Uh, come on, buddy. Let's finish it up. Uh, I mean, I deserve this. This was this was this was well deserved. This was well deserved. This was well deserved. I stuck in here at least. I mean, I'm, I'm over that. Let's try something different. There's there's because I'm never gonna finish it if I don't get it like a single marine out or something like that. What I can do is this move. Look at this. Oh no, I messed it up. Let's see if we can get in here. Please, please, good sir. Yeah, let's step up. There's no point. He deserved it. Nah, this was stupid. I should have just built him here. I should have built him here, what I always do. Nah, I, I regret this. This game doesn't count. All right, we got Lambo in a TVT. It's meant to be. It's meant. This is a great way. We play like 12 tosses, two Terrans. I'm, I'm okay with how this will go. I don't think Lambo is much of a scouter, to be honest. Lambo strikes me as the type of guy that just enjoys not scouting in the early game and i'm the type of guy that punishes that by showing up with three marauders and concussive two minutes and 35 seconds into it god i'm looking forward to this some good points to end it with that guy the, the moonbeam dude stole quite a few points of me there in the end not gonna lie i think he took 34 is what i saw in the uh, in the screen Oof, look at that that's tight my friends that's real tight I wonder if this just gets scouted. If he, no, I don't think if he scouts, the worker will move more like this. I should really have figured out, out some better positions, but oh well. I think this is actually the best one. Single-handedly the best one we've done. The one in the natural against the other Terran is actually my favorite game, I think, so far. But we still have uh, this game remaining, so maybe, maybe it's going to be even better. It's very well possible. All right, let's have a look. Come over here, buddy. Show me what you got. Oop. A little bit of a depot. One more tech lab, and then we'll... Do I want to scout, actually? No. No one scouts in this matchup, right? Also, what am I going to see? Like the only thing, yeah, he he might he might get uh, suspicious, which is the one thing I don't want. What I can do? No, never mind. I'm just gonna, not gonna do anything. I was thinking maybe I can like hide a worker to bait his reaper to chase that worker around for a bit, because he's probably gonna use his first reaper to scout around his base. You know, that's a very common thing uh, in this matchup, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there we go. Concussive shell, 23 seconds away. Do we wait for three? Do we go with two? That's the that's the next question, obviously. Let's just let's just go with two. Actually, let's just go with two. Maybe we can shoot like uh, the factory a little bit or something like that. Uh oh, you're in trouble. Oh, you're in. And this is why you're supposed to scout. God, Marauder Alliance are good. Oh, ah, it's so exciting to play this as well, man. Because there's always something going on. 21 points in the pocket. We end at 5708. And that's an MMR I'm very okay with. All right, that's going to be it. The hour long of uh, Marauder rushing here today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to like, but subscribe to the channel. Please tell me what else you'd like to see me do for an hour straight. I really like doing this. You really get into the, the nitty gritty of a, of a nasty little treat. So be sure to leave me something down in the comments. I'll read all of it. And I'll see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.